Hey guys, welcome back to the course. So in this lecture, we're gonna talk about what are hybrid applications, what are native applications, how do you make a decision yourself uh, about which one you're gonna use, whether or not it's both or it's one or the other. Now, first off, if you are already familiar with what native applications are and what hybrid applications are, you can actually skip towards the end of this lecture. I'm gonna cover some of the basics to explain to the people who don't actually know what those are, just really quickly. And then towards the end, I'm gonna give you my opinion and my experience working with both. So first of all, let's actually define what I mean by native application and hybrid application. So first off, a native application is an application that's designed for one specific platform. Now by platform, I mean iOS, Android. I could also mean Windows Phone or Blackberry. Now a native application is written in the programmatic language that is specific to that platform. Therefore, when you make say a native iOS application, you can't just copy and paste that into Android and expect it to work. Now hybrid on the other hand is actually more of a relatively new form of application. What this is, it's an application that it can actually be deployed throughout every single platform and it uses common programming languages that are very similar to basic web programming languages. Now, if you've ever seen Adobe Air, that's a good example of what the hybrid concept is. Now, Adobe Air doesn't necessarily speak to mobile, um, but if you're familiar with it, then you can understand the basic concept. So with mobile, the system you should be familiar with if you wanna go hybrid is PhoneGap. And PhoneGap is probably about the number one application that allows you to put in web programming languages and then deploy across multiple uh, mobile platforms. Now, just as a side, guys, don't get confused when I say native and hybrid. Um, don't get confused that with what mobile web is. Mobile websites are completely different. That's when you have a website that has a custom layout so that it can actually display itself on your phone correctly. Now, that could happen in two different ways. One is that you go to a website and it's actually formatted towards your, your screen, um, and most large websites are like that now. But also, you can launch web applications directly from uh, the phone itself. You can package it like an application, you press it, and it opens. That's entirely different than what we're covering right now. Now, let's talk about cost and development time. In general, native takes a little bit longer and it costs a little bit more. Hybrid, on the other hand, is faster and cheaper. Now, why is that? The reason why is because a native application requires kind of custom, specific, unique skill set uh, to build it. And in general, you have to build it with the tools each platform gives you. So it's not actually the most efficient way of doing it. When you build a native application for Apple, you have to use the tool and the SDK kits they give you. Same goes for Android, same goes for all the other platforms. Now a hybrid is faster and cheaper because it uses web technologies um, and you only really have to make one version and then do smaller tweaks or smaller customizations as you replicate that for each platform. Now, if that was all you heard me say, you would think that the answer is actually quite obvious, right? Hybrid, you can save money, do it faster, and it can go on all platforms and not just one. It seems like a no-brainer.